But I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. No, she just bleed it to death. Probably not. Stop it nine times. <laughs> Elizabeth. Hi guys, I'm Mike, and welcome back to the council. Now, if you have been watching the previous episode, you know that we have finished it the episode one which is basically if you don't know the console is divided into episodes and episode is like one part of the actual story each episode is divided into chapters so last time we finished it like the first bigger part the episode one now we're gonna start episode two and if i remember correctly the subtitle is hide and seek how many times must i tell you you must never put your life on the line for me Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wulner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some... Urgent business. Alright. <laughs> this is grim. Right, so first things first, we need to pick up like a, a manuscript to read. I can equip two at the moment. Okay, so I would like to have... Okay, this one's quite powerful. An encyclopedia. Okay, so let's read this one. And I'm gonna add myself a little bit of politics because I don't think... Actually, wait. Physiology was the... Uh, not this thing. Character. Psychology is actually like a quite good idea, I believe. So let's actually go with this one for now and see how it's gonna go. Right. Can I pick any of the talents? I don't think so. Okay. Start quest. Woo! I am not ready. Lord Mortimer's office. How lovely. Lord Mortimer, it is finally you. It took you one whole episode to show up. The Council. Episode 2. Last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. However, there may be some new developments, but I, I don't know if they are linked to your mother. We have found Elizabeth Adams' body in her room. What? I'm afraid she was brutally murdered. Stabbed. Several times. You've got to be kidding me right now. Okay. Question is locked. Okay, I forgot how completely how this thing works. Okay, restored points. What's that noise? <laughs> restored points. Uh, negative curves effect. Displays immunities. Okay. Let's actually use this thing on this guy. Let's see how, what he's gonna say. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. all right, so I only bumped into her last night. I can't believe it. We, we bumped into each other last night on our way to bed. Yes, I know. Duchess Hillsborough informed us that she accompanied you at the beginning of the evening. You apparently bumped into Miss Adams, who wanted to speak to you. We are told you turned her away, and she went away on her own. That's correct. Do you know what she wanted to see you about, by any chance? Wish I would know. Unfortunately not. She seems confused. Is this the right order? I don't know. Maybe. Hard to say. Well, she seems confused, that's for sure. She seemed upset about something. I thought she was under the influence of alcohol. But we didn't really speak. Pity. The poor child was probably trying to find help. I thought it could wait until tomorrow. Hmm. Apparently not. Whoops. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. Okay, let him finish. I must reassure my guests and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. We spoke together, I believe. 
She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course! Of course. How would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Okay, right. Are there any suspects? Okay, that thing went off something. That was all like a waste. I need to remind myself how to properly play this game. Uh, suspects? Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi. So, I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Okay. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Okay, well, that's a good idea, actually. All right, I will go there. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified and they agree. Oh ho! <laughs> Time for some snooping! Let's actually see, can I do something with you? <laughs> he didn't notice! I don't think it's actually like a good idea to... I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. You did? I'm listening, Louis. Uh, remind me of the facts we already know. Goodbye. I'll be in touch as soon as I have any more information. <laughs> <laughs> that was great job, Louis. Great job indeed. Okay, I don't know why, but he reminds me of... Tywin Lannister from the Game of Thrones, you remember? Like that guy who stopped at nothing. If he wanted something, dude, he got that thing and he didn't care about the casualties. Ah, manuscript. Wonderful. Okay, let's search around his study. Oh, alcohol, how lovely. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Servants. Uh, okay, what's this? The Nightmare Painted by Fusili in 1781. Ooh. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. Oh, lovely! More Carmelite water! I love Carmelite water! It's the best one around! Okay. Is that Poseidon? How to say? I've. This guy has like a thing for. Like mythology. Like Greek mythology in particular. So, like, you know, like Zeus, Poseidon, uh, Hephaestus? Hephaestus was in the Greek one or the Roman one? I completely forgotten. Haven't played like a game related to ancient Rome or Greece in a long time and I kind of like base my knowledge on that thing from time to time. Uh, what's this over here? Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? First, change the first letter, second letter, move away. Hmm. Zeus? Z. Second letter. E. Is this gonna be the case I'm... Zeus? Z E U. No, it's supposed to be U. U and S. Seriously? <laughs> this guy has a thing for Zeus. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you can't be real. Like, when you start the game, you literally like walk into the manor, and the first thing you see like is the Zeus thingy. So, golden elixir. I'm full on that. Oh, that's a pity. Okay, which one is the golden elixir? Okay, negative courses. All right, good to know. Ah, Cardinal Piaggi, it's good to see you, my man, my man indeed, my man in valor, my brother in arm, my dearest friend. Where is little Timmy sucking your cock? Okay, what was this? <laughs> More freebies! More freebies! More freebies! Hello, how are you? Good morning. Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. Oh, what a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? Well, I don't That's know. exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, uh, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's uh, probably nothing. 
Mm -hmm. Does he know why? Anything else? Not to worry, Your Eminence. If he is innocent, then he has nothing to fear. Do you know why Monsieur Bonaparte was hanging around her room like that? Well, I wouldn't be surprised to learn that the dashing young soldier had become infatuated with a fragile young woman who looked a bit lost. But I don't think he got a very warm welcome. Bonaparte and Adams? <laughs> but they didn't even know each other, did they? I couldn't say that. Mm hmm But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Perrault. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Yep. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. Yep, that's actually a good thing. Wait, can I talk with you again? What a tragedy. Uh, no, no, no. I want you to go through the... Oh, he's gonna talk. So I was trying to try with Piaggi over there about different things, but he didn't answer. What in the shit is this? Really? Oh, see, another Z statue of the Zeus. Like any anyone more around? Tapentino. Okay, I just want to investigate this thing quickly. Is there like more things for me to pick up? For oh, something over there. Go around, go around, go around. What's this? K okay, with the occult water symbol. Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. Yeah, indeed. I got a key okay a key with the occult earth symbol water symbol a small key with a ring shaped as the occult symbol of water interesting okay convention etiquette science and i think we have found uh mortimer's handcuff emily's hand no where the shit is the mortimer's inventation no i found something else i believe mortimer Immunity to be discovered. To be discovered. Did a shit. Peru. There's <laughs> this guy. Home. Bonaparte. Piaggi. Yeah, but I have found something. I'm not exactly sure where the shit I'm supposed to look for that thing. Hmm. I found something related to Mortimer, but I don't see where the hell I put that thing, you know? No bloody ass idea. Mysterium Construct. No, no. Leviathan, discussion of the method. Oh, I found two books out of this thing. Ah, William Alexander Mortimer. Oh, I have found two pages for this thing. And I need to find two more in order to actually be able to read this manuscript. Oh, okay. So that actually explains a lot. Right. Okay, I think I'm free to go downstairs. And let's try to look for evidence. Right, the music kick in. So that means only one thing. I'm on the right way. Now, which room we should try to investigate as first? Hmm? Which room is actually worthy of our attention? Let us see. Uh, okay, I haven't been, I think, over here. What's this room? No idea. Okay, apparently I cannot do anything over this. So let's go to the left. Why, why does it know? Oh. Wait. I, saw, I had something here. The game triggered some. Ah! Ah, it's this thing. Okay, this thing is also locked. God damn it! You told me I can I'm free to search all of the rooms, and all of a sudden I'm not allowed to search any. Why, game? Why are you keep doing this to me? What the fuck? Is that Mortimer? No, this is a different guy. Hello. Good day, Monsieur de Richet. Mr. Hi. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I, I, no, no, I. Nothing special. Mm-hmm. Interesting. He looks dodgy. Uh, I don't know which one to pick. Okay, let's go with the natural question. Speak about something he already knows. Has anyone told you that Elizabeth was killed last night? I... Yes. Rumors spread quickly. Huh. He looks very put out. It's... Uh, it's horrible. Uh, how did it happen? I can say nothing to you, sir. You'd better follow your host's instructions and stay in your quarters. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. Hmm. Okay, that was apparently like a bad option to pick. I should probably pick at something different. Okay, can I go over here now? Let's see. Yeah, that's her room. The crazy bitch, that's for sure. Now, where is she? Huh? 
Hello? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! 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 That's a lot of split wine over there! Okay. We have a dead corpse over here. Yeah. I like them actually like more hot, you know? Just, just saying. Like, woman! You are crazy, but you are cold as fudge. Okay, what's this? My dear Elizabeth. Okay, so we we've been here. Oh, Jesus, can you like stop stalking me around? My God, why the fuck you're standing in here even? I don't know. Wait, right, what's this? A chest. I have been here before, like in one of the previous episodes. Half circle pattern. I can try to unlock it. Use the key. I don't have the key. Okay, let's keep this thing in mind. I'm gonna like look for the key. Maybe the key is like around. Okay, you're gonna focus on her dead corpse very soon. What's this? The clock stopped at 3.54. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. Hmm. That would clear Emily de facto because she was still with me at the time. Okay, well that's like an idea. Is this thing like covered in blood because I don't see a jack shit? Uh, Alright, let's continue investigation. A pentagram. What the hell's been going on here? Well, I don't know. Maybe she was trying to... S I can actually check this thing. I remember Motor's books. I can just check this thing. Contrary to what most people believe, a pentagram's not there to conjure up, I don't know, what evil or demonic creature. With the point toward the top, the pentagram is an ancient symbol of protection against evil. Yep. That's true. <laughs> You're probably like asking yourself, how the fuck you know that thing? Oh, dude, trust me, you read uh, very different things on the internet, especially like different books. So yeah, exactly, this is what it is. A pentagram is not supposed to be used to summon evil. You don't summon demons using a pentagram, which is like a thing spread along the culture. The pentagram actually pointed in the right direction, technically is supposed to protect you. So this is like a protection symbol, just saying. Uh, mother books? Many esoteric rituals are based on this shape. Could Elizabeth have been sacrificed during an occult ritual? I don't fucking know, you tell me! Uh, okay, this thing is locked. Should have probably be picket logic. But I don't think this is connected to one another. Okay, let's see around. Ah, of course! The bathtub! A notebook written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. Hmm. Okay, let's try to read it. It's medieval Latin. Well, enough to translate a bit. He's coming. The demon is upon me. He's coming back to kill me. There she is. Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing. So she's referring to his mother and me. August 24th. Okay, we read this thing in previous time, so nothing important. What the fuck is this? A pistol? Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. Hmm. Examine? A firearm? A tribute engraved on the barrel. To the liberators of France. Really? Interesting. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. Okay. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Okay, so... France? This is too clear of evidence, you know? But if the weapon is so clean that it, it means it has to be a, like a weapon of a soldier, like a proper officer, since they need to keep the weapons clean. Right. I shall have to find its owner. Yeah, well, we are. We don't have any France people around this, this man, are I? Right? August 24th. Can you read that thing through? 30th November. Read that thing through, I believe. Did I wait? Let me just check the key. Yeah, loving si sister. Oh, wait, something else around here? No, I don't think so. Right. Oh. Piece of fabric. High quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. Hmm. I can investigate. It's a travel dress. The silk has been lightly waxed to protect it from bad weather. And I know the very woman who came up with the idea. 
given all the traveling she does. My mother. What? God help us. Why did she come here in the first place? The material appears to have undergone abnormal wear and tear. She must have been scouring the countryside, and that doesn't look good. Okay, that's like a trail. Good to know. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see what we have on this side then. Uh, what's over here? Bottles. Vials of latinum. Latinum? That's gonna use all of my things. Take a look at the vials. The label shows that this latinum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Okay, I have no idea what this thing is for. Large quantities could knock out a bull. Could Elizabeth have been drugged? If the body wounds are anything to go by, then clearly not. She put up a fierce fight. Interesting. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you, game. Still doesn't know a jack shit about this thing, but... Hopefully this thing is gonna be helpful one way or another. Right, let's check out the dead corpse, actually. A knife, of course. Uh, logic locked. The blade, the handle, stand aside. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. <laughs> I wonder whose blood? Hmm, I don't know. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. Of a woman? Interesting. Oh, wait. <laughs> I just walked through the dead corpse. <laughs> oh. Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. So, somebody slim who's apparently very strong? That doesn't have any suck fucking sense, you know, just saying, game. Just bloody sink. Okay, let's keep searching around. This guy's just standing over there looking at me like a, some kind of creep. Knocked over a bottle of wine. <laughs> Smell, analyze. You can analyze it. I don't think it's actually. What kind of plunk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. I should have not I probably don't smelled that. This wine, but it's undrinkable. Hmm, okay. Let's use one of those things. Uh, let's see. Next skill is free. Restore points. Cause neg negative effects. Okay, I probably need to like check that wine very soon. Let's see the dead corpse. Oh my god! <laughs> you are pretty, aren't you? Jesus fine Christ. And Sherlock, is that in the arm? There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. And nobody also had a nothing. number of old scars. We just gonna ignore the tattoos on her? Analyze the scars? The scars are superficial and were made several years ago. She wasn't trying to take her own life. Okay. People who scar themselves in this way generally do so to relieve some kind of psychological suffering. By trying to master the pain, they establish their self-control. No idea, man. <laughs> Examine the tattoos. I have so much knowledge! She had the Sigilum de Ameth tattooed on her. The symbol of the living God. Written in the language of angels, according to believers. It is rare for someone to know about symbols like this at her age. Unless her mother was a tutor. Hmm, okay. Symbol of masons? What's that doing here? You tell me! You're the smartest around! Uh, examine the tattoos, examine the scars. Scarring, ugh. Scarring isn't very regular, but they're mostly from old cuts. Okay, that didn't give me anything. Okay, return to the body. Upper body. I count no fewer than nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. On first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. <laughs> really smart ass. 
Okay, this thing is... Right, why the shit this thing is all like locked for me? God damn it. Okay, lose one of the thingies. Okay, we can actually try to do something. So, let's go with this. Examine the wounds. Wounds are clean and look like they've been inflicted by a sharp object. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the lacerations of damaged vital organs, the heart, the right lung, which is perforated. Most of them weren't given with much force. She might even have survived. But the stab in the heart, though not all that deep, sealed their fate. She has been stabbed by a sharp object. I don't know, by the fucking knife who's lying around nearby? Ugh, dude, like, honestly, what the fuck? Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! What? This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during childhood. If the scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. Oh. Oh, disgusting. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, wasn't nice, man. Wasn't wasn't nice. Hands. Wounds, but blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left except that tattooed symbol. Is that when the symbol? This pinnacle's a trap. The wearers of the pinnacle thought that they were protected from evil by surrounding it inside the different circles of the pinnacle. Okay. Uh, examine the head. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she... She must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. She also has old scars around the neck. Maybe mutilations. Tell me more, I guess? Jesus, oh my god, Ugh. She bled from the nose. Okay. Science observes and also observes the bleed. Alright, use this thing once again. There are signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. I don't know, is this actually good? What a strange smell. Probably from the wine. Uh, I know that smell. Her breath it smells of alcohol and of laudanum. People use it to relieve pain. Okay, that'll explain what exactly is in the bloody ass wine. Now let's see the legs. Okay. Sexual assault? Oh. Difficulty one. I don't have enough points. Oh. Oh, I don't want to use all of my skills. More tattoos? Similar to those on the rest of her body. Yeah, that doesn't give me anything. Okay, leave it for now. Ah. Lost a lot of points in this thing, you know? I don't think actually that was a good, good idea. What's this? No, 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 th this thing. Poor girl bled to death. Really? Whoever left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. Okay. Okay. That's a good information. Okay, let's start with this guy, maybe. Yo, dude. Has Sam uh, finished with this room? No. Who made such a mess of this room? Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. <laughs> that will Has explain. Has finished with his room? No, I haven't gone over <laughs> yet. That... Sir may take his time. When sir would like to leave, sir has only to tell me. That would explain why nobody give a two shits about her dying, <laughs> apparently. Okay, we got this thing here. Right, so I have to use one of my f more things to open it. Chest with a half circle. Yeah, 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 half circle. I haven't found the key, but I could try to unlock... I the key is somewhere around. Should I try to unlock it? Okay, no, I'll leave it for now. Maybe I'll be able to find the key later on as the game will progress. I don't know. We're gonna see. For now, I haven't found anything useful whatsoever. Uh, I barely... Oh, what's this? Huh. The talisman that I gave back to Elizabeth. I can't exactly say it brought her good luck. Well, that's good news, I guess. Okay, that's one room done. Right, let's search the other ones in the meantime. 
God damn it, I wasted too much resources on that one room. I'm afraid that I won't be able to do too much in like the next ones. Right, let's go with George first. Oh, Georgie boy! There he is. Okay, please tell me you have the, those fancy drugs I can try to use in order to restore some of my points. Oh, a book. Lovely. Manuscript added. Okay, what's this? Uh, I'm full on water, which is... I don't know which one is the... Wait, which resource is what? Character, talent, trade, journal, inventory. Uh, Cruises negative effects. Okay, good to know. So there's like shields of gold and water or whatever that thing is. And guess what? I don't have enough of the other stuff. I'm keeping that thing for like later on, just in case. Okay, Georgie, you stay where you are. Don't move. I'm just gonna like sniff around your room, all right? Also, your room is better than mine. Though, less books. Ooh. Okay. Anything else for us fuel over here? I don't see. What's this? Ah, lovely. Raw jelly. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, cannot go through out. Cannot investigate this thing. Cannot... Oh. Okay, this thing. Okay. Uh, what do we have over here? Portrait of George Washington. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> he has his picture next to his bed. Motherfucker. Oh. Okay. Unlock. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Great. That was worth it. Not. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. Really? Okay. And the next paper? My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. Sir William, you say? Good to fucking know. A map of Connecticut. Yeah, it, it's strange it's not another picture of Washington. Okay, I don't think there's anything else useful over here. Alright, let's talk with old fuck and see what he's gonna say. Greetings, Lee. Hi. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. Mm-hmm. Okay. He looks like he's grieving. He had spoke to her? Tell me, Mr. President. Had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? You know her father. You thought she was dead. No, I didn't. And I believe I'll be taking my remorse with me to my grave. I wanted to, but I didn't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. Okay. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. Okay. Did she tell you why she was so desperate to get some, Mr. President? She said she had terrible migraines that wouldn't go away. More likely for the voices she heard, not the migraine. <laughs> true, true. Uh, does she take a lot? Do you take it regularly, Mr. President? Unfortunately, I do, Louis. I still suffer from a terrible toothache, and it's not likely to get any better. It's just for that, then? Old age, my young friend. I don't wish it upon you, but you'll soon see. At my age, it's rare to have no problems in that domain. And do you take a lot? A moderate amount, Louis. Only the dosage indicated on the prescription of my doctor. Mm-hmm, which is me. He's sniffing this thing better than air. Anything else? Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry, But that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened. And I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Mm-hmm. I hope so. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? 
Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. Okay, let him finish, yes? Yes, Lord Mortimer has a talent for healing, apparently. I'm not surprised Sir Gregory advised her to come. Agreed. Alright. Uh... Do you know why she came to the island? Oh wait, I asked him this already. Sorry. Speak uh, to him about the footprint. Mr. President, we found a footprint at the scene of the crime. Not a dress shoe, I hope. That's all I wear. What? No, rest assured. It looks like the print of a big ankle boot. A large size, I'd say. Perfect. That should help you, Louis. It's a clue. Really? Well, you seem quite... Of happy about that thing, and I don't want to think about that actually. You know, if you think about that, interesting, Mr. President. Hmm, hmm, indeed. <laughs> okay, I'll be on my leave. Thank you. Thank you for the assistance, man. Right, this is the room of Duchess. Hello, Emily. Where are you? Oh, Emily, show yourself. There she is. Hi, Emily. So, <laughs> how do you feel after? You know, last night. <laughs> what can I do for you, Louis? You can bend over. About last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. No, she just bleeded to death. Probably not. Stab it nine times. <laughs> Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. No doubt she suffered greatly. Nine times? What monster is capable of such a horrible thing? Show me your shoes. happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Um, okay. Make her speak about the night of the murder. Since your arrival, did you notice anything strange about Elizabeth? Everything that happened around that poor child was strange. You saw that for yourself. I know. Sure. You're right. I'm looking for leads to try to reduce the number of suspects. Well, I would say that in addition to ourselves, you could also cross off President Washington. I went to see him during the night. I had some business with him, and I can confirm that he didn't leave his room all night. Hmm. That gives Washington an alibi. Okay. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Okay. Other information. One piece of dress in Miss Adams' room. Grey silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. Good Lord, Louis, I... Do you realize what this means? If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any grey silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister since we wear the same clothes. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to check with you. I'm so sorry, Louis. <laughs> I'm so sorry I'm not right. the person you know, responsible. Sure there's a good reason why your mother was at the scene. Thank you, Emily. Yep, she was probably there to finish the job. I found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger, quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet. Still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. Mm. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... I know, Emily. I know. Keep up your courage, Louis. I'm sure there's an explanation. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any light on the subject. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't think you have anything else to say. I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. Thank you, woman. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna search your room, you know, for, for like any cool items and books and other stuff I can try to use. From William Pitt the Younger, addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He 
seemingly has indeed some powerful backers. Okay, Madam, what's this? Thank you for consoling the queen. The king's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the king? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Rise in taxes, motherfucker! Ugh. Hate you. Hate you already. Letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. So he was? From Two coils circle the lock. Okay, use the key. Ah, okay, another fucking key. Right, I don't have the keys. Uh, Duchess. You can inform King Gregory of the Holy Father backing. We will assist you in financing the recruitment of regiments of immigrant royalists to fight against France. Your friend, his eminence. Ah! Would you look at that! Sm oh, okay. Yay, a coin has been added to my inventory. It's not exactly like I need a coin. Where the shit I can find the keys? Oh, what's this? I'm full on golden ink setup, Antti. God damn it, found something. On the bookshelf. Grammar of Port Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least, une partie of it. What? <laughs> Speak bloody English. Ugh, what? I thought for a second that it's like snow outside, my god. Okay, so the thing is, I'm running slowly out of record time, sadly, but, you know, the, the investigation will continue very shortly, as soon as we're gonna start the next episode. If you guys have any idea what I should try to do, please let me know in the comment section below. Of course, I also don't know where to look for the keys, so if you guys have played with the game, and you think that providing me the info where the hell the keys are for those little lockers over here, and then also, like, let me know, because I would love to open them. So... Like, there's a possibility that there's like a key somewhere, so we have to look for the keys uh, sooner or later, I believe. I don't know, we're gonna see. We don't link that much, so I'm just, for now, uh, gonna leave it as over here. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you liked the episode, please like this a lot, and I'll see you all in the next video.